One thing I was wondering, also in terms of, of Manfred being very much um, very focused on, on, on the score or very engaged with scoring, if in, in, in you made a very clear point of saying the score is not uh, a part of electroacoustic music, I was wondering if um, uh, in I some ways your voice... Exactly. Yeah, I yeah. didn't say that exactly. I, I was wondering if, if, if somehow your voice, uh, if, if your vocal... Uh, techniques, the vocal preparations that you do, if this is, can be a way of scoring, of doodling, of preparing mm. your work? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand the question. What do you want to know? <laughs> um, if your vocal exercises can be understood as a score. Why do you want to put this in a score? No, if, if they can be understood as a way for you, not, not as a score that communicates to other people, but as a score for yourself to kind of prepare. There is no score. It's, uh, you, you're a human being. You have a voice. Yeah. There are sounds everywhere. You want to do a music with all these strange sounds that goes on and on and on everywhere. From the guitar to the piano, from the stars, from... Uh, uh, I don't know, a cow, uh, barking, uh, you know, voices and instruments and everything. Well, it's not a score. And, and I'm just trying to understand, and, and, and then the, the terms that I know, forgive me, I'm just trying to understand how do you go about working working with those noises? I mean, y y you're making yeah. them for yourself. How I'm do you go about I it don't do it with the voice. I do it with the sounds. Mm -hmm. I'm only doing with a voice, trying to um, trying to do with the, with the youngest to make them feel the sound that he they hear in, in the city. And, uh, I don't know the 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 the, vo the, the car or the the to learn to hear they. Well, when I, I talk with a, very, very a lot of people now, because I'm, I'm, I'm going everywhere, people are a little bit scared that I die because I'm more than 80. So they, they ask me to come everywhere. And I hear the music, and I hear the, the, what they say. And uh, they try me to hear what they have done. So mm -hmm. I, I, I am in, in front of a computer mm -hmm. with them. And they have the music there and they look at the music, and when I turn them, they're scared because they don't hear, because they don't look. I say always, the music gets in the ear, it's here. Not in the computer, yes, you can find all the sounds you want, but it's not your score. It's only a way to know how to put the sounds, but how it sounds. It's the, e the, 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 the how do you say, the, the eyes doesn't hear, they see and the ears here. So when you put something in a score, in, 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 a, in, a, in a computer, in a, in a program, it's better to shut your eyes and hear what you have done, because this is what you are going to hear. Even if you have a guitar and the people moves and all this, the sound, you hear it. You see the movement, but you don't hear the movement with the eyes you hear with the well, there is something going together okay but when when we compose we compose with sounds not you can do something with the image but the sound is only the sound you can do anything else what the hell <laughs> when you talk uh, it's talking uh, i'm i'm not writing at the same time uh, i don't know how to say <laughs> the sound is the sound so when I do all these exercises in the atelier, it's only to make them be uh, aware that they can do the sound, they can feel it, they can imagine it, and they can have a way to give uh, a name of the characteristic because you have iterative everywhere, and you have uh, sounds that, that, that moves everywhere. And how they move and how they don't move and how what's what's going on, so you can afterwards choose what you want to do to do music or something that sounds. That's all. 
It's very easy. It's very elementary, Mr. Watson. It's very simple. <laughs> Yes, it's the beginning um, of the beginning. Yeah. Who are you? And why do you want to do music? And how to do music? I don't know. In in that beginning, it seems that uh, the. Can I, can I oh, uh, yeah, sure. I don't know. I don't know if the line. It's your. It's your microphone. Hold on it. It's a hold on it. The microphone. I forgot to hold it. I have an observation, if I can tell that. Is it okay? Because she asked for what is, is there a score? And when you did the mixing together with the, with this other with singer or, Anita, Anita. yeah. And then she started a sound and then you said, can you make it longer? It was a sort of in, intro, how do you say, in, instruction. Please make s your sound longer, make it a whole breathe. Yeah. And then when you played together, it was very beautiful I s and uh, to see and to hear it. Yeah. But you were also conducting a little bit. And this was a sort of instruction. And maybe we could call it a score. It's not a, a score. You can hear because there's a time going on. If I talk like this, it's different. If I talk like this, it's better to talk another way. So what I say to her, it's only give it sound. And sound is time and energy. If you do it very short, it's short. If it is very long, it's long. But we wanted to do a mixing. So a mixing to be something had to have time. Otherwise, yeah. Also possible. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I asked her <laughs> to breathe <laughs> because uh, music is breathing too. You don't feel it, but the music you can hear one hour music or can hear one hour sound or can one uh, nothing. I had this one in concert, and I was only not only the one. Twenty minutes with an electronic music, perfectly well done, perfect, no music in it. And I was a little bit, I didn't felt something, the music, that was very well done. No, I didn't felt it. So I asked my friend, did you hear a moment of music? And then he turned me like this, I never heard music, it was very well done. And the people there, that I didn't know, that was not a composer, it was a, eh? say the same thing. So it was something going on there without music. 20 minutes of hearing music, it was no music there. What is music? I don't know. I knew this moment that I, I don't know what music is. I don't know, I feel it, you can feel it, you can feel sing, but mm. with this sound, that we, s I wanted to, to um, have a mixing for you, yeah. and the breathing was short, so the sound was short because of the breathing, yeah. the time, the energy of the sound is the same. It goes together. So I asked her to do it longer. That's all, but she could do it shorter. Why not? Mm -hmm. But it's better longer, so you can hear more. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. You you want another question? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a maybe score. It's, it's only. Uh, huh? Yeah, maybe if I can, it just not to make it also to insist a little bit. When you went on, you had like little gestures. Tick boom, tick boom, tick. Boom. Yes, because I'm like and that. Because and in, and in my when I was a young, when I was a child. We talked always with my cousin and my friend. What do you mean? With gesture. And I am an Argentine. It, it, and but I'm it not was. French. And hmm? it, but with for your duo partner, it was a little bit minimal, like a conducting, because she was uh, reacting. Uh, uh, for or you not. as a maybe conducting, not, no. I was looking at her in the eyes, and I was feeling actually what she was doing. Yeah. No, I was just looking at Beatrice's eyes, and I was listening what she was doing, and I was improvising on the sound. 
and the gesture, I'm Italian, so I'm used to, to see the gesture, but it's really difficult to interpret it, a gesture. So uh, it was, it was sh short improvisation, and this short time it was a matter of listening for me more than uh, I, you know, you said she did gestures. I don't remember actually that she did gestures. I remember more the expression of the face and the sound. So but the, the, the problem is that I paint too, so uh, I draw a lot. So <laughs> for me, it's music sounds the drawing too. So how the hell, how, how are you going to go out of this? It's impossible. Just go out of it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just go out of it. That was one of my observations too, that I felt you're both uh, indeed moving, uh, you're both, uh, you've both done away with performers in, in completely different ways. Um, and in that, it feels like y when you're, you've, you've moved, kind of you've given it to, to the computer, you have the, the, the acoustic, electroacoustic piece is there. Once you've made it, for you, it's, it's a di very different type of machine. It's the typewriter that kind of puts your sheet of paper there and which puts you very much in charge. You're the performer, um, which seems to me that in that sense, you're very much moving away from an idea of a work where so somebody comes in to interpret it, but it's really um, a bit more, and that's also where the painting for me came in a little bit, uh, a li uh, more about the self-expression, the self-expression that both of you in very different ways uh, cultivate. Is that something that you recognize? Me, my. <laughs> he must talk. But maybe self-expression is kind of a complicated term. I mean, I think yesterday we were at that point with David Toop when it was about the instrument and about what, I mean. Um, let's say um, I don't like so much the idea that a talk gives information instead of living a moment, if you, or, or, or being a moment there. So in a certain way, I just try in a talk to do what I usually do if I, if I work. So of course it is staged, and so it's not so easy. It's more complicated. But uh, a talk for me certainly is not about giving information. But usually talks are about giving information. But in a certain way, I think we are full, we are all so full of information that in a certain way, I, I think many issues are not about information, about, but about mm -hmm. other things. And so I try to create something like maybe a situation where many things come together. Is it about processing in some ways? I, I don't know. I, I can't deal with the word process. I, do, I don't know really. I mean, I, with the score and the music, I, I think it's interesting. I mean, the question is the score. Is, it's so, with Jenny, we know now it's complicated. I mean, uh, I like that score in English has many different meanings. And so a score in a certain way is also your score. I mean, it's <laughs> your criminal score, your policing score. It's there's it's very interesting. Uh, I feel that um, in a certain way, sounds are of course more immediate than language. But I believe that we are in a certain way extremely uh, captured by a language, and in a certain way, then for me the score or talking about language through scores is like trying to to talk about the influence language has about our or on our experience of sounds that's uh, because of course the scores are always in a certain way embarrassing because if you <laughs> you can if you can renounce to it, it's always nice. But then I would just completely distrust to the sounds, because the sounds are too powerful. And so that's maybe a point we would disagree. Yeah. Because if you if you f em emphasize so much on 
on listening. Where, who are you or where are you when you are listening? What, uh, what, what is listening in you to make decisions of what music you want to have? Even, even almost more serious when you don't know what music is. But in a certain way, is it your subject or is it, is it, is it your gender or is it your nation or your history? It's a mystery, mister. <laughs> It's a mystery. We don't have the answer. I think There we can talk about it still. <laughs> you can talk for years and years and just years. For and <laughs> you will never touch the thing because uh, I w we don't know what it is. Well, this is the point. That's I'm why we must do what we feel and then... Okay, why Did not? Didn't you mention something really very interesting when you said that there was this experience without no music, uh, but people felt that something is going on? And so, but would yes, you. Yes, but if the you there is a lot of things without any music. Everything, it's incredible. There are sounds and there are feelings. Mm. And but yeah. If let's say what you, what you told, this little story. So I was thinking, if you have a music now, and you have, you have to <laughs> you talked about feelings, you could, of a music, subtract the music. Hmm? And then, let's say, you have a performance. Well, you do, I never do. No. They ask me to do it. Let's, let's I, listen I gave concerts. Y yes, <laughs> let's listen to a music <laughs> of, of Beatrice. But, but well, uh, okay. You then when you, you, you hear, uh, <laughs> you hear it, you feel, or you don't feel, or you go away because it's too much, or it's not no, too much. No, I tried. <laughs> yeah, L listen. Yeah. <laughs> just, just an idea, just a, f a thought. Um, we listen to a piece of yours, mm. but then, in a certain way, we could subtract this piece, and then maybe we get to the point that we have that what you described 10 minutes before, that there's a silence and many things are going on. But now the problem often in music is that if we have this music, all that which comes forward, if we don't subtract, the music When gets lost somewhere. And so in a certain way, I'm really curious uh, what you think about it. I don't think about nothing. You <laughs> will be in the silence when I will be perhaps 90 years old or perhaps I will not stay over there. The, the, the day I will die, you will have the silence. I mean, you brought up the silence, <laughs> actually. I, I did not bring up <laughs> the silence. Yeah. <laughs> what, I, what I thought was interesting um, was that in terms of language, also where, where you left off, was that Beatrice did say that uh, you appreciated Schaeffer's way of introducing new terms, that he, you thought he was very smart in uh, sh coining these new terms, um, allure uh, or iteration, to kind of find new, new non-classical ways of describing music. Um, that that was uh, important to kind of create a new, to, to realize this new approach to sound. It's not creating music in order, it's to hearing different. To When hear. you have another point of view, if you mm. are doing always in, in painting the same thing and you change your point of view, you see the things a little bit different, you will paint differently. In this kind of thing is the same thing. I hear a note of piano, I hear a note of piano, but I can hear it like an impulsion with an harmonic or with a tonic sound that has something like this. It touches it touch the chords or something. I can hear this differently. So I can do something with this differently that the sonata. That's all. It's, it doesn't go further, but it's very, very, very difficult to do because we hear always the same way and we take the things the same way and we, when we have a friend, we say hello and we see him always the same way. Or he is very different 10 minutes before and we don't see the difference. Like we can see it 
10 years afterwards because he, he, he became a little bit fatter and <laughs> older and, and well, it's my, you know, well, I know this very well. <laughs> Everybody knows it. <laughs> and so. Manfred, is there such a thing, f has there been such a thing for you where we say um, a, music, a, a listening culture that kind of cultivate, is kind of cultivated at some point by someone who finds new words to describe music, to describe sound and to see sound anew? Has there been such a thing for you yeah. to read the, the texts in these ways that you read them now? Uh, yeah, th that's a good question because in a certain way, although there must be great music in acousmatic, that's no doubt, but always if I hear this story about a creating a new vocabulary, this sounds for me kind of disastrous. <laughs> because, because, you do, because you say, yeah, it's about hearing, but why do, we new, why do we need a new grammar to listen to a car passing by? And then you do a gesture. The gesture you, you, you draw uh, about the car, I identify this with Beethoven. Because in a certain way, I almost feel it's like a Beethoven gesture. So I, and so in a certain way, for me, it's not, a, it's, it's just, uh, it's not a critique. It's just an observation. <laughs> it's, so, if we had, la if we have language and the grammar and let's say all the complications that in a certain way we want to say something, but we always say something different. And then we have music and music, music theory. Again, we are in the grammar of that. And then comes the great moment of Schaeffer. L uh, listening to the world. You, you emphasize so much listening. But then we found a new grammar. This allure, this and this and this. And yesterday we heard it all. And it's kind of sad because if I want to go out to listen, then I want to go out to listen. I don't want to go out to listen to think, this is a lure, and I could compose a world with this. Right. And Nobody so asks you to do this. I say <laughs> only to the composer, when they want to do something, they have this possibility. And this possibility came 30 years from now, mm -hmm. in the 60s, where nothing was there. And uh, everybody was thinking about a uh, uh, note so mm -hmm. note in, in, in with an instrument and nothing else. Mm -hmm. And there were even electro electronic sounds to have a new sound for the orchestra. So it wasn't something mm -hmm. out of it. Mm -hmm. well, this was in the 60s. Uh, I mean, you said, no. you mentioned very clearly, you hate the world solfege. So I, in a certain hate, I hate the, the word solfege because I was I had to do it when I was a child, and I hated it. I wanted to do jazz, if you want to know. <laughs> in well, jazz, you have enough And jazz, well. I was not very good <laughs> for jazz. So I didn't do jazz, and I didn't be, have been in, mm. in a bar with a, mm. a cognac and, and play piano with doing jazz. Well, I couldn't do it. And I discovered this music that gives me free. But I will tell you, this kind of, if, I, if Schaeffer did this, much more complicated than what I, I said. Much complicated because he wanted to take away the people, not away, saying to them, you can hear something else. Well, to hear something else in this moment, not now. Now you have the computer, you have a lot of things, and you have 30 uh, more, 50 years more of everything you can even imagine. Well, so in this moment, they need to know how to put this sacré sound that comes from everywhere, and nobody knows. We didn't even talk about this solfege in this moment. We hate it. I began to talk with this in 98. Mm -hmm. Because somebody asked me, and I did it with my voice, but I didn't have the time to have a sound doing the bloop, bloop, as we did in this moment. So <coughs> we didn't compose with the solfege. Mm -hmm. It's afterwards it came. And more now, I do this because I hear that the people, they, even the people in France, they have a chef and all this, they don't compose. 
They don't know what it is. It's all. But it's a way of hearing different things. It's all. You can hear this or you can hear different. You can hear what you want and you can hear the <laughs> silence if you want. I'm not a teacher. I never have been and I will never be a teacher. I, I try to come back to your question. I mean, in a certain way, I think many people now can accept that a musical experience consists of much more aspects than of only the sonic aspect. And so, I mean, what I was in a certain way talking <laughs> a little bit with Beatrice is it's, it's hinting that uh, I'm, I'm kind of often uh, in a certain way deceptive if I see that that the emphasis goes so much on the sonic. Because in a certain way, I mean, I'm not really interested in how things sound. That's uh, right. That's okay. <laughs> Marvelous. You are not a composer. You do something else. No, I'm a composer. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yes, like yes, you and everybody else. Yes, <laughs> you, you compose with words and with silence and no, with your I machine. Want to, I want to make a point, <laughs> yes, a poem. Yeah. Should we give the audience the opportunity to ask a question? <laughs> you don't do it with sounds, you do it with something else marvelous. I paint. I don't know sounds. Well, it scratch a little bit. My point is that I feel that the sounds are too brutal, too dominant, too intimidating, domesticating. As we heard this, uh, this morning, there's a whole palette of sounds that are like drugs. It's, it's, it's even better than heroin because <laughs> we need it even more. And uh, oh in a certain cool. way, I wonder what happens in a world where the sounding world is kind of lowered and all the other things that we are aware of that they are happening, this kind of interaction, uh, come a little bit more to the fore. I will say something to you. You will be very happy. <laughs> really very happy. I know a person, I don't know two, but one person. She was a woman. The, she was in, in, in one of the concerts, the electroacoustic concerts, terrible electroacoustic concerts. And I was talking with her. Some, some time, uh, suddenly she said to me, you know, the sound, music sound or sound, makes me pain in the skin. I cannot hear it because it's a torture. And I say, oh, and you come to electroacoustic music, even, even Bach, the sound is painful for even me. Bach. <laughs> <laughs> yes, even Bach. What do you want to say with that? <laughs> you, you, you have talking about Bach, it's my preference. Uh, well, music was before Bach for thousand million years or so. And she cannot hear because it's painful. You know, then you you can have somebody that reads. <laughs> Don't look at television, television because there are always sounds. Mm -hmm. Terrible. So there are people like that. Perhaps you are too like that. <laughs> you cannot you cannot hear. <laughs> Again, I'd like, like to give sounds. the opportunity yeah. to the audience to ask a question. Yeah, uh, I would like to ask you, actually, you say if we take out of the music we can, or the sounds, we can finally listen what is going on. So I want to ask you what is going on? What, what is that you mean? It's not really clear for me. I mean, uh, let's say uh, one, one of my performance practice is this, actually, that people are supposed to hear music, but there's no music. But I just, I began to talk because Beatrice in a great moment just brought this up, that there's a moment where everybody is like listening to music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's no music, but something is happening. And so let's say sometimes in, in recent years, I've begun a practice where I just invite people. Uh, let's say recently in our Mexico City, I invited people to a, uh, a former prison that was built in a panopticum uh, architecture. And I just invited people to be there three, four, five hours. Uh, and 
Maybe years ago, I would have proposed this core to be under influence of certain sentences and to think about life and stuff. But now I thought, now that people more or less know that I seem to deal with music, I felt it's kind of good because then I just don't have to propose anything anymore, but just that we come together. Thank you so much. <laughs>